Hey folks, uh, Blake Sheldon here, and this uh, calculus lesson is on volume by disk and washer method. Uh, this is where math gets really powerful, you guys. Um, you'll see in a little bit. And calculators also, but, um, these calculators are just awesome. Um, uh, they integrate for you guys. So we've been doing integration. I'm still going to do it by hand, you'll see. But the integral of this, um, if we did it by hand, you get 9 halves or 4.5 from negative 1 to 2. In your Casios, you just hit run. And then go to your menu and then options and then calculate number three. Find the integral symbol and it'll give you this. And then you plug in your function right here and then you plug in your boundaries, negative one to two. Close parentheses, comma. I'm sorry, not comma. And then just hit execute right there. You don't need that comma right there. Okay, and it'll give you 4.5. In your uh, TI calculators, you guys, you go and hit math. Uh, down your left hand column and then number nine on math and then this FN means finite integral so you hit your finite integral now uh, be careful right here you put in the function right here and then you have to put in comma X if you don't uh, you'll get a, an error function so put your comma X right there then you're bounded by right there then hit enter okay very powerful cal calculators you guys I mean Prior to uh, uh, 25 years ago, we had to do all this by hand, you guys, so I did anyway, so uh, it really has opened it up quite a bit. Anyways, you don't want to hear that. Uh, volumes by disk and washer method. Here we go. So uh, this lesson gets uh, solids by revolving functions around an axis. So for example, we'll let y equal f of x on the interval a, b. Okay, so here's the function y equals f of x on the interval a to b right there. I'm going to revolve this. That's what this little arrow means right here. I'm going to revolve it around the x-axis, and it's going to give me a, uh, a figure that looks like that. Now, do you see the solid that's there? And what we're going to do is slice this guy. We're going to do a perpendicular slice, and what happens is it's going to make little circles. And all the circles have, remember, circles are area equals pi r squared. And so it's going to give me several circles, in fact, infinitely many circles. So the volume of, of, say, a disk right here is going to be the, uh, the area of the circle times the thickness. That's the volume of each disk. So the volume of all the disks are going to be the sum of the, of the area of the circles times each thickness right here. And so this sum is our integral symbol. So we're going to get uh, the integral of, of uh, f of x dx. And if it's going around the, f, the x axis, then it's f of x dx. And it's y equals x equations with x limits. And if it's um, x equals y equations and it's going around the y axis, and it, it, the key thing is, is it's going around the y axis, then we got to make sure that it's x equals y equations and then y limits right there. Okay, so let's try some examples. So find the volume of the solid of the function of uh, f of x equals x squared plus 1, which is a parabola. Revolved about the x-axis from x equals negative 1 to positive 1. Okay, so here's my function, y equals x squared plus 1 right here. It's this blue guy right here. And what I'm doing is I'm revolving it around the x-axis. So if you can mentally see it getting revolved around right there, and it's making uh, this solid. And this solid gives me all these little circles, and there's infinitely many little circles inside of here. And so, remember, the area of a circle is pi r squared, but my radius is my function. This is my f of x right here. So it's here's my pi r squared right there, dx, okay? And then so we integrate that. And I, look, it's easier because uh, this is symmetrical on top and on bottom, so I can go from 0 to 1 and just do two of it. Um, and I, I like integrating by hand, so I foil that out right there. Okay, so foil that out, and I get that, and then integrate that. And then from uh, and then don't forget your two pi right here, okay? And I get 56 uh, pi over 15 on that, okay? And if you did it in your calculator, uh, you get the 1.866 when you uh, integrate uh, this in your calculator from the limits. Whoops, I forgot my limits. Uh, zero to one right there, okay? You get this, and then don't forget to multiply it by two pi because of that two pi right there, okay? Either way, all right? Don't get so handy on your calculators. I mean, you know, try and try and remember how to do it by hand so you can do. You know, integration by parts if you have to. Find the volume of the region bounded by uh, y equals x cubed, y equals 1, y equals 8, and this is about the y axis. Okay, so if it's about the y axis, i got to convert this to x equals a y equation. So that's going to be um, uh, x equals the cube root of y. Okay, so um, uh, remember uh, pi r squared. So there's my, uh, there's my pi r squared right there, okay? And then my radius is, is this function right here, y, or x equals y cubed right here. Okay, and it says it's going from 1 to 8, so we're just integrating that. Again, I like doing it by hand, so I made it to the 2 thirds power. And then so this becomes um, 
y to the 5 thirds, I add 1, divided by 5 thirds, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal 3 fifths. Anyway, so I get uh, 93 uh, pi over 5, or 93 fifths pi, something like that, okay? All right, uh, and you can do that in your calculator and get your calculator conversions, okay? Most of our objects are not solids like those two were. They're, they're hollow. Um, they're hollow through uh, uh, equaling two curves right here. So, for example, say I had uh, this function right here, f of x right here, and then this function, g of x, and then I rotate it around here. And look what happens, you guys. It, it, makes, um, uh, it makes like this little disc right here. So, so, I'm sorry, it makes a washer. You know what a washer is? It's like a, a circle inside of a circle right there. And then so it's going to be the outer circle minus the inner circle. So in this case, it's going to be f of x minus g of x. Okay, so but it's a circle, pi r squared, pi r squared. So, so here's my pi r squared. This is my outer circle minus my pi r squared inner circle right there. So it's going to get me this integral right here. Okay, outer squared minus inner squared. So f of x squared minus g of x squared. There's my pi r squared minus the other pi r squared. And this is when it's revolved about the x-axis, and it's y equals x equations with x limits. And if it's going around the y-axis, then uh, we do the right, uh, righty minus lefty on that one when it's going around the y-axis right there. Okay, well, um, x equals y equations and y limits. All right, let's see what I have here. Okay, so find the volume of the solid, the revolution bounded by uh, revolving uh, the region. Y equals x squared plus 2. Sorry, my awkward wording right there. Y equals, uh, this is a parabola. Y equals x plus 2 over 2. This is a line. Uh, x equals 0, x equals 1, about the x-axis. Okay, I need y equals x equations. Whoops, did I go too fast? Okay, so um, uh, here's the parabola right here. Here's the line, and then I, let's see, what I do? I clicked one too many. Okay, so there's the parabola right there. There's the line right there, and it's going to get flipped around the x-axis. So there it is getting flipped right there. Okay, and then so I got the outer circle, the blue one, minus the inner circle, the pink one right there. So there's my outer and inner. Okay, my outer is the parabola, my inner is the line, so pi r squared on all those, and then go ahead and integrate that, and, and dot, 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 save some time. There's my answer, 79 pi over 20. Okay, so uh, give it a shot, outer minus inner, uh, or righty minus lefty, if it's going around the y-axis right there. And if you're in my calculus class, I'm going to sign you that is your homework. Take care.